Hi everyone, Jeff here again. So, on today's episode of MCEP Tech Tips, or Reviews, rather, today's the Reviews episode, um, I want to take a few minutes to give you my honest opinion of the new sensor that Keyence came out with called the Keyence IV2. Um, I've spent since, let's see here, it's February now, and I have been working with the Keyence IV2 since last July. Um, it's a long story as to why it's been that long, um, but I'm going to simply say it is not because the sensor is hard to work with or junk. It happens to be because it's been a long ongoing process to get it into my hands, to put it in as a project, and move forward with it. Um, and I will tell you one of the biggest issues with that was COVID-19. So <laughs> if that is if you can relate to that, you'll understand. I won't have to go any farther on that. But I want to go ahead and give you the honest review and my honest opinions of the Keyence ID2. So I don't know how long Keyence has had this out. Um, obviously, this is the early part of 2021. So, and I know they came out with it. Oh, it had to have been at least the early part of 2020, if not maybe the late late quarters of 2020 through 2019. Excuse me. Um, but what it is, is a little vision sensor system, basically. Um, you'll have a controller, the cable that communicates with it, your I.O. cable, um, and then obviously a little camera sensor. Um, I think there's five different levels of it. You have like a monochrome, then you have a color, and that's the, the short field of view. You have like a middle range field of view, and they do that both in chrome and monochrome and then color. And then you have two other farther field of views, and I think only one of those is in color. The other two are just monochrome. Um, so keep that in mind if you're needing, depending on your range of your field of view. And if you don't understand what the FOV or the field of view is, I encourage you to go online, check that out, and see what you can find. Um, just a little side note, I know this is about key ants, but Cognex makes a really good um, tool on their online website that gives you an understanding of the field of view range. Keyence also gives you some really nice, I think they call them white pages or technical manuals that'll give you a nice understanding of how to calculate field of view and calculating what kind of sensor you would need. Also, if you check the manual that you can get with the Keyence IV2 or the brochure that sells it to you, um, you can get a nice understanding of what that, that field of view is. Um, but one thing that the IV2 has that is probably the most beneficial asset that I have come across yet, that compared to Cognex Editions, Keyence, other camera systems, and even the original Keyence IV series that I've worked with in the past, is that they've integrated artificial intelligence into it. So now you have this AI function in the original Keyence system that's a little better quality product than the original IV series, but yet still integrate some of those very similar features now with that AI again. So the AI allows you basically to just draw this little tool on your little search window, say, hey, I need you to find this, and then you tell it good, bad parts, and then it automatically figures out what it's looking for. It's like, wow, anybody can program a camera now. And I'm not kidding you. The setup feature for this system has been so phenomenally faster than it is with Cognex or traditional systems. And I, I'm not trying to knock Cognex. I really like Cognex too, but this is a key answer to you, not Cognex. But compared to any traditional vision system, whether it be Cognex, a key answer system, uh, something that you bought that goes into Python that transfers into it and you have to use a computer system or whether you use... Um, like FLIR makes something that you have to integrate into their little FLIR system. And then I'm trying to think there's a couple other ones out there. And again, not knocking any of them. They're all good systems. But the quick setup of this AI function Keyence IV2 is just phenomenal. Um, another great feature is you can do um, Ethernet IP. So Rockwell. You can use Profinet, DeviceNet. Um, I believe EtherCat, and I think there's another one too that you can communicate with. Again, 
great platform right there. Your integration is just so phenomenally quick, it's not even funny. Um, it, it's just, like I said, anybody can program a Keyence ID2. It made, it made the world change drastically. Um, I know that when I set it up the first time, I don't think it took me more than 20 minutes. And again, that's because the 20 minutes took because I didn't know each step. You got to go through, you know how it is, like you get something new, you got to go through step one. You got to read all the documentation. Step two, you got to read through the documentation. Step three, you got to read through the documentation. Step four, same thing. And then boom, there it goes. It's on. And you're like, oh, okay. Wow, that was way easier. And then you see it's a good, bad part. And you're like, hmm, done. And I'm not kidding you. 20 minutes, I got the whole camera set up. I have a traditional camera I'm working on right now that I've been working on for several months that is still taking me several months to work through. Why? Because I have to manually adjust the lighting. I have to manually adjust the focus. I have to manually adjust what's a good part, what's a bad part, what tool I need to use for vision inspection, and all of that stuff. So what this IV2 has done has changed the whole world of vision drastically. Now, yeah, there's some features that you can't use in it like you can in a traditional vision system, okay? So, yeah, some some of the quality is not all there, but you got to realize this is a key its quality system, so that quality is phenomenal. When I say the quality isn't there, I mean it's not got... Like, let's let's use this as an example. Measuring, okay? Your measurement tolerance on a traditional vision system is going to be really tight tolerances. On the IV2, it's going to be a little wider because it doesn't have that lens on there that is really tight adjustment. Can you get it close? Absolutely. You can get it phenomenally close if you spec this out exactly correctly. But, again, your tolerances are not, they're a little wider than, they, than maybe you need for some particular um, sensor setting. Like, for instance, if you're trying to check like a, a millimeter difference, again, you're probably going to want to go with a traditional vision system. If you're checking like a five millimeter difference, I don't see any reason why you can't go with an IV2 series. Um, again, go, um, go with what you know you need to go with sometimes. But I would definitely, before I do that, I would reach out to the Keyence rep and I would say, hey, you know what? I've heard this IV2 is a phenomenal product and phenomenally easy to program and everything. So I want to know, can I demo one? Can you bring one in and show me? Can you uh, tell me, hey, this is what I'm going to do with it. Can you show me what, what it's capable of doing in this particular application? And I guarantee you, Keyence is more than willing to come out and say, hey, yep, yeah, we'd love to show you that. And so I encourage you to do that for sure. Um, because, like I said, what this sensor can do, it just, it's it blows my mind. It still blows my mind even today. Um, I demo it and I try it um, at my office probably about once a week. I have a spare one that I keep. And it's like, well, what can I not do with this? Um, the other day I did a label detection with it. And I found out it worked really phenomenally well on a label detection system. Um, so, once again, what it can't do, I have not yet found something that, um, that it can't really do. Except one thing. It can detect for a barcode. It can't read a barcode. Um, it can do an OCR tracking system, but it can't read the barcode and decode it. That is the only thing it can't do that I have yet to have discovered. Unless, of course, you have a monochrome when you needed to have a color camera. That's the only other issue. And that is because we bought... The, that is because... Now, I'm not saying we did. Um, or I did. Because I, at the time, I only needed monochrome. So, that's that's a customer purchase issue. That's not a key answer problem. Um, and I wouldn't even say the barcode's a Keyence problem either. You want a barcode reader? Get a barcode reader. Keyence makes a phenomenal barcode reader on top of that. Um, again, let me, uh, 
remember this is the IV2 series, but Kians makes the SR1000 series, which I've worked with a lot in the past, and that was phenomenal. But then they came out with the SR2000, and that is even more phenomenal than what the SR1000 was able to do. So, in a barcode reader, go buy a barcode reader. But if you don't, then you need a vision system. Go, <laughs> go check out the IV2 first. Because you can't go wrong with the AI, and I guarantee you in the middle of the night when the controls tech calling you, you can be like, let me next time show you how to set this up so you don't have to call me again. And I guarantee you, you show them how to do it, they won't be calling you. It's too simple to have to be making that phone call in the middle of the night every night. So, once again, check out the IV2. I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10 recommend. I have yet to have found an issue with it. And it has not failed me yet. Um, I strongly encourage and recommend it. From the bottom of my heart all the way to the top of my head. Um, definitely, definitely a winner right there. So, anyway. Thank you all for watching. And once again, stay safe.